Hello, welcome to Rapid TV News Headlines for the week ending the 20th of August 2021. And the main news this week, Comcast and Viacom CBS launch a new service in key European markets. Broadband booms as US pay TV firms lose and Vizlink acquires mobile viewpoint. Teaming up to take on the big guns of the subscription and video on demand market in Europe, Comcast and Viacom CBS have announced plans to launch a new subscription video on demand service in more than 20 European territories. Encompassing 90 million homes, the new Sky Showtime will act as a complement to the recently announced Paramount Plus partnership with Sky in the UK, Italy and Germany. Due for launch in 2022, it aims to bring together the partner's direct-to-consumer experience and features entertainment films and original series from the NBC Universal, Sky and Viacom CBS portfolio of brands. Two back-to-back -back studies from research firm LRG have highlighted contrasting fortunes in the declining pay TV industry in the US and the country's broadband sector, which is very much in continued rude health. LRG found that the largest pay TV providers in the US lost about 1.2 million net video subscribers in the second quarter of the year. By stark contrast, the leading US broadband providers have added 8 million subscribers over the past two years. In a transaction that the video capture delivery and management firm says will create a global live video powerhouse addressing the growing demand for online video and taking advantage of existing networks, AI and 5G, Vizlink has acquired Mobile Viewpoint. Mobile Viewpoint offers mobile live streaming solutions for outside broadcast and produces the WMT line of mobile encoders for live streaming over 4G and 5G. It claims to be a world leader in developing AI solutions for automated news and sports productions. In other news this week, ESPN Digital reached 99.4 million users in the US over the course of June. That's its best for the month ever. It was also the 40th straight month that ESPN ranked number one in the US digital sports category for monthly unique visitors. Driven by traffic to landmark events such as the NBA playoffs, cricket and Euro 2020 football, which also delivered huge audiences in July, the service was up 24% year on year in users and 132% in minutes. Targeting the Asia-Pacific market with a new range of cloud-native services, Telstra Broadcast Services has entered into a sales partnership with Base Media Cloud. Base is a provider of cloud services for the digital media industry, and its partnership with TBS is designed to provide a complete end-to-end cloud-native workflow. And finally, just weeks after reporting a fall in profits and revenues in its first quarter, and amid rumours that it's selling its sports broadcast business, BT is opening its next chapter with Adam Crozier as chairman. Crozier was one of the leading UK business leaders of the late 90s and noughties. BT says he boasts significant operational and transformational experience in both public and private businesses across a range of industries. This, it says, makes him an excellent candidate to chair the company as it makes its own business renewal. For more information on these stories and plenty of others, please go to the Rapid TV News website. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.